time favourite campaign is on the racetrack at the moment. Car number 17 has been driven throughout 1995 by Dick Johnson, the 18 car by John Bauer. And for the two E's 1000, they combine their talent, the resources, to share car number 17 and expect a quick one from Dick, who actually uh, ran into a problem last year at the same spot that Peter Brock did. Yes, well, they're all trying to pick up time on the slow corners. I mean, uh, obviously, everybody can come down the straights of about the same speed, so you've got to gain on your operator's decision through the corners. But here we have Bathurst winner, 81, 89, 94. Second at Bathurst in 88 and 92. Winner of the Sandown 500 in 94 and 95. A nice back-to-back. -back. And winner of the ATCC, 81, 6 in 82, 84, 88, and 89. Dick, yes, sure is. Dick Johnson, who was so wild with himself last year for clipping the uh, corner, clipping the wall at BP, he takes the green flag and he's underway. Johnny Bauer gets uh, respite this morning. He can sit and watch Dick. Certainly those times by Junior Johnson and Craig Lowndes shows the pressure these young guns are putting on the Bathurst, the Bathurst legends. Incredibly quick times early in the morning and it really is putting on the pressure on guys like Brocky and Johnson. We take Dunlop Tyre race cam aboard car 17. Johnson looking as cool as a cucumber as he normally does. 240 kilometers an hour, brakes hard, back through the gears and up toward Repco corner. The right-hander through Repco, wide exit. Just out on the curb. That's okay, as long as he saw it coming. This was the corner that brought him undone and has already brought Peter Brock undone. He goes in there nicely. The exit is perfect. Sure, not me, thank you. No, he knows where that wall is. Well, there's certainly been plenty of accusations of uh, political gamesmanship pointed at this car during the week when they came here. The fastest time Johnson did was some three seconds behind uh, Peter Brock. And over the last three days, they found three seconds in this car. So however they've done it, it's certainly percolating right now. And he's certainly driving that on the curb twice there. That is hairy stuff. Nicely through the dipper. You can't bounce it through here. Just over that little hole in the dip there. It looks like a very, very quick lap. Always is from Dick because he drives this circuit better than most. Absolute equal between John Bow and himself. Roof cam yeah. via Dunlop as they make the exit out of that. Now the uh, open spaces of Conrad Strait. And this is where you'll get the opportunity to see the speed and listen to that great V8. That is fantastic. Here we go. Up into fifth, sixth. So the windscreen wiper moving around in the airflow coming over the screen. 180 miles an hour on the old scale. And he flings it through Caltech's chase. Hard on the brakes. About 200 metres to slow from 275k to about 90 for this little corner here. Very tidy lap, Johnson. Not as quick on the splits coming out of the forest elbow. Beneath the Bridgestone Bridge. Down through the gears, a dab of the brakes, get it straight, out through here, check it flag time, a little sideways beneath the bridge, and Johnson goes across the line, 2.11.55 is the time to beat, but no, that's well from it, the 2.13.19, 2.13.19, the time for Dick Johnson in car number 17. And that puts him sixth at this stage. So okay, Johnson. so Johnson to 13. 1-9. For 1 minute 28.05 at the split, so he was considerably down on Scaife, Craig Lowndes and Wayne Gardner at that point on the track. 